Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone. My name is Dr. B. Shamri Nahamid. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today I am here to give a lecture on the topic sorting techniques in data structure. So first let us see what is sorting. So basically when we are having a group of elements, we have to arrange it in some sorted order. So in order to do that, when we are doing the processes such as searching, it will become easier for us. So now let us see it with an example. So in the first yellow column, we are going to have a certain elements which is 40, 10, 25, 35, 5 and 2. So it is in a unsorted order. So we have to convert it into a sorted order. So here in the green column, we have 2, 5, 10, 20. 25, 35 and 40. So uh, this is part of a sorted list. So let us see the basic types of sorting. So generally sorting is uh, divided into internal sorting and external sorting. So when we are having a group of elements that is data, we can have either in the form of main memory or in the form of an external memory. So whenever we are going to use it in the form of a main memory, uh, we will be considering it as an internal sorting. Whereas when we are going to store it in the external memory, we are going to call it as an external sorting. So basically when the data is small, we will go into the concept called as internal internal sorting. Whereas when the data size is large, we will use the concept called as external sorting. So some of the examples of internal sorting are bubble sort, heap sort, quick sort, insertion sort and selection sort. So whereas in external sorting, some of the examples are merge sort and radix sort. So like we saw the internal sorting and external sorting, we will again categorize the sorting into comparison based and non-comparison based. So this comparison based is nothing but when there are many elements grouped together, you are going to compare one element with another element. So when we are going to compare between two elements, all those sorting mechanisms will come under the concept of comparison based sorting. Whereas in non-comparison based, you will not compare it as much as you compare it with the normal comparison based sorting mechanism. So some of the comparison based sorting are bubble sort, selection sort, insertion sort, merge sort, quick sort and heap sort. Whereas non-comparison based is radix sort and counting sort. So in this lecture I will focus majorly on bubble sorting technique. So bubble sort. So first let us see what is a bubble sort. So it is a simple sorting algorithm that is used to sort elements mostly in a list or an array. So when you are going to have a particular list or when you are going to have a particular array and you are going to uh, sort them into some particular order, we can use this concept called as a bubble sort. So it can be done using two uh, steps. So the first step is when you have a list of elements which you consider it as an array or a list. So you will be comparing one element with another element. So when you are going to compare, when the right element is uh, smaller than the left element, you will swap the positions. So you will keep repeating this until no further uh, iterations are required. So in this, uh, each largest unsorted element will come up. That is, it is called as bubble sub to its correct positions and that is why it is called as a bubble sub. So an example for this is in our phones we have this contact list in alphabetical order. So that is one example of uh, bubble sort. So this is the algorithm of bubble sort. So in this algorithm first we are going to consider an array and we are going to give the name as ARR and we are going to use n number of elements. So we are writing it as n elements. So we are going to consider in ascending order. So using bubble sort let us now see how we are going to sort it in ascending order. So first we are going to take the first index as ARR of 0. So in an array the first index value you will always consider it as 0. So therefore we are taking it as ARR of 0. The next element after ARR of 0 you are going to consider it as ARR of 1. Then the next element ARR of 2 and so on. So first you are going to compare ARR of 0 and ARR of 1. So when you are going to compare ARR of 0 and ARR of 1, if ARR of 0 is greater than ARR of 1, you are going to swap the positions. Okay? So the smallest element will come forward and the greatest element will go in the next position. So same way you are going to compare the first index and the second index that is ARR of 1 and ARR of 2. Then if the first element is smaller, it will remain as such. If it is greater, the position will get swapped. So same way the process will continue until the final element required is ARR of n minus 1. So now let us see the same with an example. So I am taking the example 23, 15, 29, 11 and 1. 
So this is an unsorted uh, list whichever you can consider it and now we are going to use this concept called as pass. So this pass is nothing but the number of iterations that we are going to do for that particular mechanism to become a sorted list. So here the number of passes will be calculated by maximum number of elements minus 1. So the maximum number of elements in the list that we are taking is 5. So we are going to consider, consider it as 5 minus 1. So totally we have 4. So there will be total 4 number of passes. So in the first um, column we are going to take 23, 15, 29, 11 and 1 as such. We are going to compare the first element and the second element. The index value of the first element is 0 and the index value of the first element is 1. So when you are comparing 23 and 15, 15 is smaller than 23. So what we are going to do is we are going to swap the positions of 23 and 15. So when we are going to swap the elements will become 15, 23, 29, 11 and 1. Now since first two elements are compared now we will compare the second and the third element. So the positions are 1 and 2 index value 1 and index value 2. So you are going to compare 23 and 29. Since 23 and 29 are already sorted that is the left element is already smaller than the right element you will ignore it and move to the next element. So when the third element and the fourth element are compared 11 is smaller than 29. So again you will swap the positions of 11 and 29 and finally in the last two positions you have 29 and 1. So you are going to compare 29 and 1 since 1 is smaller you are going to swap the positions of 1 and 29. So now you have 15, 23, 11, 1 and 29 in the first pass. Now let us see what happens in the second pass. So in the second pass we will start the elements with the final value of the first pass. So you have 15, 23, 11, 1 and 29. So again we are going to compare two two elements in each. So when you are comparing the first two elements that is index 0 and index 1 it is in sorted order. So you will ignore that and go to the next two elements. So when you are comparing the second element and the third element you will have 11 and 23 swapped because 11 is smaller than 23. So after swapping you have 15, 11, 23, 1 and 29. So now the third and the fourth element will again be compared. So when comparing since 1 is smaller than 23 it will be swapped and the final elements in the pass 2 are 15, 11, 1, 23 and 29. It is still not in sorted order. So we will move on to pass 3. So in pass 3 the first line indicates the last value in the pass 2. So now 15, 11, 1, 23 and 29 are there. We are going to compare the first two elements. So in 15 and 11 since 11 is smaller than 15 you are going to swap 11 and 15. Then the second and the third element is compared. So in 15 and 1 since 1 is smaller than 15 the values are swapped. Then the third and fourth element 15 and 23 are compared. Since 15 is smaller than 23 it will remain as such. And finally the last two elements 23 and 29 are compared. Since they are already in sorted order it will again be ignored. So this will be pass 3. Now in pass 4 the last line of pass 3 we are going to consider which is 11, 1, 15, 23 and 29. We are again going to compare element by element. So the first two elements are compared which is 11 and 1. Uh, since 1 is smaller than 11 the positions are swapped. The second and third position is compared which is 11 and 15. Since 11 is smaller it is ignored. Then the third and the fourth element is compared 15 and 23. Again since 15 is smaller it is ignored. Then the last two elements 23 and 29 are compared. Since 23 is smaller it is ignored. Now if we see by the end of pass 4 we have a sorted list. So here we have 1, 11, 15, 23 and 29. So in this way when we are going to have a number of passes that is different number of iterations we can finally come and conclude it with a sorted list. So this is one method of doing which is called as bubble sort. So again a uh, small recap is in bubble sort you are going to compare between two elements which is the first element and the next consequent element. So when you are going to compare you will keep trespassing such that finally you arrive at a sorted list. So with this uh, my lecture comes to an end for bubble sort. In the upcoming lectures I will uh, explain more about the other sorting techniques. Thank you.